Hi everyone, it's Krista and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're not new, hello again. So this is my channel. I love to do DIYs on a budget, Dollar Tree DIYs, thrift flips, farmhouse and rustic, reasonal <laughs> reads and seasonal decor. So if you like what you see here, you know what to do. Hit that red subscribe button. Also leave me a comment and give me a thumbs up. It helps my channel. You can also follow me over on Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok, and Facebook. I wanted to let you guys know I do a live craft and chat every Friday at 7 p.m. here on YouTube and also on Facebook, so make sure you follow me on both. And today is all about five under five dollars, and our hosts are Farm Charm Chic and Shannon's Crafty DIYs. More about that in a minute, but first let's get into DIY number one. So the first DIY, I'm going to take a napkin that I got this on Amazon. And I also have this block of wood from Dollar Tree, some strips of fabric, and some jute twine, some burnt umber paint, plaster, a candle, and some dark antiquing wax. So the first thing I'm going to do is paint my block with my little sponge from the Dollar Tree that I use all the time to paint with, with that burnt umber. Then once that dries, I'm going to go over the top with this tea light candle wax. And this is going to help give us the chippy look. And then I'm going to go over it with the plaster paint by Waverly. And then I'm going to take my little scraper tool and I'm going to just scrape off some of the paint. This is going to make it look really rustic and super vintage and old and give it that chippy paint look, which I love so much. If you don't like this look, you could skip this step, step altogether and just paint it whatever you want. And then next I'm going to take a piece of the um, napkin and I'm going to make sure I take off all the layers and I just have that top layer. And then I'm gonna take a um, thin uh, paintbrush and I'm gonna go around the edges with some water and I'm just going to go where I wanna like kind of pull it apart. I'm, this is gonna help it not to look so square on my piece and um, help it blend into the wood. So I'm just gonna pull it with my fingers and right where that water is and your fingers, that's the only part that's gonna come off. Just be really gentle when you're doing it so you don't rip your napkin. And I did that all the way around. And then I'm going to take um, some of the Mod Podge and I'm going to go over the um, board with the Mod Podge and then I'm going to take my napkin and go over and then place it on the top. Now, this may have a few wrinkles, but I'm okay with that. But if you don't like wrinkles, smooth it out the best you can, or you can use an iron and a piece of um, paper over the top, and that will, like um, parchment paper, and that will help get your wrinkles out. Then I'm gonna go over the top of it with some more Mod Podge and the edges just to make sure it's nice and sealed and that my napkin is not going to um, rip. And then I'm gonna go over the top of it with some of that dark wax. I get this on Amazon. If you would like to get it, um, it's in my Amazon shop. All the links for everything are in my description box below. And I go along the edges really good. I want this to look even more vintage and old. I go over the image. Then I'm going to take um, some stripped ribbon and I'm going to make a rustic like fabric bow and I take some stained um, lace that I've stained with coffee stain and just strips of ribbon and I'm going to make a simple expo with this. So I'm just putting it in my little mini bow dabber that's also in my Amazon shop and then I'm going to take my jute twine, push it up and tie it in a knot. And I do this with my other bows that I make. I just loop it back and forth and then I tie it up in the back, cut off the excess and then I'm just trimming the edges to make it the length that I want that's gonna go nice on my project. And I just use strips of ribbon and lace and I just, um, that coordinate with whatever project you're doing. And then I'm just going to glue it to the corner and put down a wooden bow, I mean a wooden button in the center. And that's it you guys, super simple craft and so cheap. And this was under $5. So today is all about five under five dollars and it's about spring decor and Easter and these are our hosts like I told you there will be their links down below and also a playlist with everyone who is participating. So go check everyone out. So DIY number two I'm going to use this chicken from 
chick from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna use some rice paper in these colors that I get on Amazon. That scrapbook paper you saw, some more strips of ribbon to make a bow, some more burnt umber and plaster paint, dark wax, and some in a wax candle. And I'm also using a tag and a wooden button. So now this piece, I cut it to look like a wing of the little chick out of cardboard. And then I'm gonna peel the top layer of the cardboard off. And it gives you this great, uh, really good texture to your bunny, to your bunny, to your chick. So the first thing I did is I traced out the paper from the that I, I got from Hobby Lobby and now I'm tracing out the bottom of the feet and then I also traced um, the little uh, chick uh, wing. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the brown and I'm going to put that down on the bottom and that is um, the rice paper. Then I painted this paper from with the plaster paint from Hobby Lobby. And then I glued that down and now I'm going to put this other rice paper that I had. These all come in a pack and they are in my description box below in my Amazon shop. And then I went over it with, um, I sanded it and now I'm using my dark wax to make it look old and um, give it another great texture. And it brings up those little um, images that you see on the scrapbook paper. I can't talk to gay guys. I'm so sorry. So then I'm going along the edges of the wing with the dark wax and I'm going to make that look a little bit more um, vintage as well. And then I'm going to glue down my wing to my little chick and a little wooden button to the top for his eye. Then I made another bow, which I don't show you again, and I'm going to glue that there right near his neck area and then I'm going to take a tag and I am going to rough it up on the edges we're going to make this tag look old too and I crump it up in my hands I get these tags from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to make the tag look old so I'm going to go around it with that dark wax as well and over the top and it says hey chick which is super cute and then I'm going to glue that to the center of my bow and I'm going to stick down a wooden button in the center of that and there is your little chick all made over from the Dollar Tree. I love this craft, you guys. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. So now DIY number three. I'm going to use some white paint. This is some molding paste that I'm going to use. Some dark sealing wax. I don't use the flower. I'm going to use some ribbon. And I'm also going to use a stamp, which doesn't work out, but you're going to see it on here. And then this I actually got from... Um, a thrift store for 99 cents guys. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over it with the white paint and then I'm going to use the molding paste. Now I get this on Amazon as well um, but you can't molding paste in any craft store. They do sell it or you can use um, a lot of people use joint compound and you can put that on top as well and then just make sure it's dry. And I'm using my little palette knife to smooth it out and I want it to have those marks. I don't want it to be completely smooth because I want it to look, you know, a little, uh, it's going to give it another texture. Then once it's dry, I'm going in with my dark sealing wax. Now I did use a rubber stamp and stamp down flowers. I don't know if you could tell in the video, but all I did was stamp it down like you would a normal stamp, not colored or anything. I didn't use any stamp pad. I just stamped it down because you could see it in the thing a little bit. And then when I use the dark wax, it brings it out even more, okay? And then you just make sure you wash your stamps really good. And then I had to dry it because some of the, some of the molding paste was not dry enough. So I fixed it though. And then I'm going to put down my bow that I made again <laughs> up on the neck. Now these bunnies, they do have at the Dollar Tree, so you can find them there. And then I um, stamped a saying on this tag as well. I don't remember you guys. And then I roughed it up again and made it look old, the tag. And I run around the edges again with the, my dark wax. And I'm going to glue that down to the center of the bow. And then I'm going to glue a wooden button. And I get my buttons on Amazon as well. So there you go, guys. There is a cute rustic bunny. I love the way he looks. Let me know what you know. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. So now DIY number four, I'm going to take some burnt 
orange and some green paint, some dark wax, some more ribbon guys, and strips of fabric, another tag, and one of these from the Dollar Tree. So I'm showing you all the different ones that you could get at the Dollar Tree, and they're super cool guys to make over. So I went with the burnt orange color. It's by Folk Art. And then I didn't like that light green, so I went over it with the dark green. This is a hunter green color, and that's also by Folk Art. And all I did was paint it, made a bow to coordinate with my project, put that down there, and then I did um, carrot bait. I stamped on my little uh, tag, roughed up the edges. You know the deal, right, guys? <laughs> I've been doing it through the whole video. And then I just crumble it up, make it look old. And then, you know, I'm going in with that dark wax. And I did want to go around the um, carrot with the dark wax. And I did after, so I didn't show it on video. And then I went over the top of the tag with it. And then I'm going to glue that to the center of my bow again. And I'm going to glue down a little button. These are really simple, you guys. And so inexpensive. Go get them. I don't even know if the Dollar Tree still have them, but check your Dollar Tree. Hopefully they do. So now DIY number five. I love this project. This is my favorite. I'm taking Mod Podge Burnt Ombre Plaster, this, um, and I'm going to use some paste and some surface wax and a candle. And I'm also going to use um, a tag. No, I didn't use a tag. This is from um, Chocotour, and this I got from D decoupage. I will have their link down below in the description box. I got this from Target a long time ago and it was $3, this plaque. But you could get them from Dollar Tree too. You could get any, or just a piece of wood if you have it and cut it into a square. So it's a 12 by 12 plaque. So I'm going over this with the burnt ombre first and my little sponge from the Dollar Tree that I cut up. And guys, this, I love using sponges to paint now. It's my favorite thing to do. And then I'm going to go down with the wax because we're going to give this a chippy look, okay? And then I'm going to go in with the plaster paint over that. Then once everything is dry, we're going to start using the scraping tool and I'm going to scrape it and give it that chippy look. Now you can do whatever you want. You could just put white paint down, plaster paint, whatever you want, and then put the um, image down that I got from Decoupage. And um, that image is gorgeous, you guys. I love it. And they're so inexpensive. And it got here really quick. It shipped really fast. So I'm going to scrape this. Um, and by the way, all of these that I'm making right now are in my new shop, which is going to be listed down below. It's an Etsy shop where I sell everything that I'm making. And also I sell wood kits that you can actually craft with yourself. And everything is very inexpensive. So check that link down below and go check out my shop. And I also craft on sun, 7 o'clock on Fridays, guys, live. So you could come on here and see it. So now I'm going around the edges with the water and my paintbrush because I'm going to pull it apart like I did in the first project. And this is rice paper that it's on. That's what they print on when you purchase these. And I love this image. It's gorgeous. And then we're going to put this onto our plaque with some Mod Podge. So yeah, you can check out down below um, are all the links. My Etsy shop link will be down there too. But on Fridays, I'm going to be like using my craft kits and also other kits that I do um, and other things on Fridays so you can see how I, what I make with them and how I make it. So come check it out. Friday nights are super, super fun. And you can follow me on Facebook too, guys. Do that because that helps me too If you're if you have Facebook. If you don't, come follow me over there anyway. <laughs> so then I put the Mod Podge down, I put the image down, and of course I went over the top with the Mod Podge again. So now, because we're using wood and not a chalkboard for the Chocotour stencils, you want to make sure that you use the surfacing wax down first, and then I'm fuzzing my thing because I don't want it to pull up my paint. And then I'm doing Heat is Risen. That's the part of the um, stencil that I'm using. These are silkscreen stencils, which I love them, you guys. So easy to use. And then I just lift it up, and then I go to the next section and put Is. And then I put the Risen on the bottom. So Heat is Risen. And this is in my shop. It's for sale, so, which I'm really sad I shouldn't sell it because I love it so much, but I am selling it. 
So then I'm going to use my Distress Oxide in the color Vintage Photo and my little sponge tool. And I'm going along the edges of the um, picture that we just put down. And that helps blend it in too. And then I'm going to do it all over the actual um, thing. Now, if you put too much of this down, you can just wipe it up with the wipey guys. It comes right up. And now I'm going to use my dark sealing wax and I'm going to go around the edges completely with that. And I'm using a big stencil brush. And these are also in my Amazon shop, these stencil brushes. I love using these for this type of stuff for, for you know, stenciling or to do, um, you know, dark wax like this. It just, it works really, really well. And I'm giving it an old vintage look, you guys. And then, of course, you know I made a bow. And I put that in the corner. I glued that down. And then I'm going to take a nice, um, oh, I must have saw someone was there. Um, and then I'm also going to, and then I mess with my bow a lot, you guys. <laughs> but I love it. I love my bows. And then I'm going to take a button and I'm going to glue that in the center. And then I'm going to take a rusty wire and I'm going to put it through the front like that. And then the other side, I'm going to do the same thing. Then I'm going to take a pencil and I'm going to like just like wrap it around and make it like a spiral. And that's going to hold it in place. The wire will hold it in place because this is a pretty strong wire. And there you go, you guys. And that's the last DIY. So go check out my Etsy shop. Go check out everyone, the playlist, the hosts, the guest hosts. Check them all out. And also come visit me on Fridays at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I do a live craft and chat. And I will see you guys again soon. And thanks so much for watching. And remember, stay crafty. Bye.